Good evening and welcome. This is our big exit poll coverage right here on NDTV. The poll of polls is out uh, and we have all the numbers pretty much. And the larger trend is a Congress plus sweep, both in Haryana as well as in Jammu and Kashmir. Of course, Jammu and Kashmir is slightly trickier. But as far as the regional parties are concerned, uh, more or less a wipeout. No real factor as far as Haryana or Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. But what do these numbers uh, really mean uh, for both Jammu and Kashmir and Haryana? What do various agencies predict? We'll get you all the latest on that. First, a quick look at the headlines at the start. The poll of polls is out. The biggest newsmakers on NDTV. Huda on the exit poll says we expect a bigger sweep. Meanwhile, on the chief minister's face, he says the party will decide. A sweep for Congress plus in Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir as per the poll of polls. The exit polls predict a BJP upset in Haryana. Meanwhile, largely a bipolar contest. Smaller parties fail to make their mark in both Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir. In some other news, uh, Indigo system outage flights have been impacted across India, but Indigo now says systems have partially been restored. Prime Minister Modi inaugurates Mumbai's first underground metro. The Aqua Line will have 10 stations, 9 trains with 96 daily trips. All right, let's break down some of the big numbers as far as the poll of polls is concerned. Looking at Haryana now specifically, well, as far as the NDTV poll of polls is concerned, the maximum number of seats that pollsters are giving to the BJP as far as the poll of polls is concerned is 33, uh, which is below the average mark. The minimum is 21 and the average is 27. That's what the trend seems to be largely. As far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, the average is 27, maximum 30 and minimum 23 to the BJP. Now looking at the Congress plus, that really is the real story right now as far as the poll of polls is concerned. In Haryana, the Congress plus is getting an average of 54 seats, well beyond the magic number. Minimum uh, 49 and maximum 59. So 49 to 54 is the range that uh, pollsters seem to be suggesting as far as the Congress is concerned for Haryana. For Jammu and Kashmir, the Congress plus NC alliance, the maximum number of seats is 48 that the pollsters are predicting out of 90, average 42 and minimum 38. So very interesting there. Um, a BJP upset is what is predicted as far as Haryana is concerned. A clear sweep is what these exit poll uh, numbers seem to suggest. Though of course a lot of health warnings there, many caveats given the fact that these are just exit polls and as we all, always put those health warnings out, pollsters have um, gotten Haryana particularly wrong in the past couple of years. Let's also look at some of the major agencies and what they seem to suggest. Access My India, if we look at Access My India uh, for Jammu and Kashmir, uh, so pretty much the same range uh, for, uh, for the BJP as well as the Congress. I think the most interesting in Haryana is, uh, uh, is, is uh, Dhruv Research giving the 50 to 64 uh, for uh, Congress, 20 to 32 for the AP, also Dainik Bhaskar pretty much in that range as well. We decode all of that with our experts. Uh, let's quickly take a look at some of the reactions coming in. All the big newsmakers on NDTV. Uh, let's see what uh, Bhupinder Huda in fact had to say uh, on the exit polls and also the chief minister's face uh, given the fact that there's so much interest around it. Take a look. Sir, the exit polls are suggesting at this point that the seat share that Congress would be getting is of 55 to 62. What do you have to say to that? This is what I am telling you, exit polls are telling now. But in the morning you asked me the question, I told you that Congress is going to form government with comfortable majority and it will form the government. So the whole day that you know you roamed around today, went to these poll booths, what did you feel? How do you look back at today? The final day. The response which we are getting from everywhere I got the report, there's wave in favour of Congress. As per these exit polls, is he hopeful for a bigger number? Because the range that is being suggested by the pollsters is from 46 to even 60. Yes, because BJP has proved to be non-performing government and most corrupt government, the government, BJP and JGP government, and the law and order situation is worse. Even uh, our sports person, Pahlwan, who is restless, they have been not, not been spared. Right. 
MLAs would decide high command would decide okay thank you so much that was bhupinder singh hudda speaking exclusively to ndtv dekhe haryana ke janta ke liye ek bahut bada khushi ka din hai ek to aaj sabhi ne badh chadh kar matdan mein hissa liya hai aur jis badlav ki taraf haryana dekh raha tha logon ne wo badlav kiya hai logon ne jo 10 saal jhela hai uska hi result hai logon ne jitni takleef hai jitna atyachar sa hai in 10 saalon mein वो आज मतदान के रूप में उन्होंने अपना बदला लेने का थाना था और वो सक्सेस हुआ है और कांग्रेस पार्टी को मैं धन्यवाद देती हूँ पूरा हरियाणा धन्यवाद देता है हरियाणा के लोगों ने जो पिछले दस वर्षों में कार्यों को देखा है हर वर्ग के लिए काम हुए हैं हरियाणा को क्षेत्रवाद से मुक्ति दिलाई है हरियाणा को परिवारवाद से मुक्ति दिलाई है हरियाणा से जो भेदभाव होता था उससे मुक्ति दिलाने का काम हमारी सरकार ने दस वर्षों में किया है हमें पूर्ण विश्वास है कि हमने जो हरियाणा को एक नई गति विकास की देने का काम किया है आठ अक्टूबर को भारतीय जनता पार्टी तीसरी बार बहुत बड़े मैंडेट के साथ आ रही है All right let me introduce my panel this evening Sandeep Shastri uh, national coordinator of Lokniti network is with us in studio Akshat Goel co-founder Dhruv research of course they've also come out with their uh, exit polls he's also with us in studio advocate Anmol Pawar spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party is with us as well uh, Vivek Chaudhary spokesperson of the JJP is joining us live too and Charu Pragya of the BJP as well uh, Sandeep Shastri a word from you quickly on in the larger picture that these uh, poll of polls seems to give a a bjp upset in haryana is the is a larger trend certainly as far as all the polls are concerned pretty much the same range uh, in in uh, you know that all the pollsters are giving so uh, you know pretty much on expected lines would you say uh, in this very thin road between ifs and buts yes. which we need to always keep in mind hmm. uh, if these exit poll numbers are right then yes Uh, clearly we are looking at a possible change of government in haryana and if that has to be explained in terms of the exit poll i think 10 years of uh, uh, anti incumbency after 10 years and the fact that you have an alternative to cash in on that yes. anti incumbency because mm. many times you have an anti incumbency but nobody to cash in on that mm. secondly an aggressive congress certainly and an aggressive congress very keen to be back in power mm. secondly the social coalition that they have uh, created yes. what was traditionally jat versus non jat now that has uh, mm. changed and if these polls were to hold it means that the congress has consolidated its presence among the jats mm. and also one significant non jat vote so that yes. i think explains to a certain extent this verdict mm. and i also will be interested to see how the youth and the women have voted because that would be crucial mm. in yeah, defining and deciding youngsters yeah. uh, you know uh, age less than 30 so i think that's an important point and akshat come in on this because you also seem to give um, uh, more than 50 uh, to the to the congress um, 50 to 64 in fact yeah. that's a large range there but of course keeping all those health warnings in mind um, would you agree with what uh, sandeep ji said uh, that you know the, uh, the bjp on the decline there of course what seem to have worked uh, for the congress as far as these exit polls are concerned that effective social engineering that sandeep ji was talking about clearly seems to be one of the most important yeah, factors so i truly agree with sandeep sir but first of all to answer your question if bjp is on uh, decline in this state see as i was telling the previous 
uh, interview as well that we have to also look at the vote shares. That yes. is, if let's say BJP is able to get 37, 38% vote share in the state, then we cannot say that the party has declined. The party has then grown itself from 36.5% vote and even, none of the polls... Even the Lok Sabha, the vote share was pretty much, you know, Pretty much even, that. pretty much even. It's a so, two-party contest. It's that's a, it's a two-party contest. Now, what, what has happened now because of the collapse of the uh, INLD or JJP parties, the JAT vote has shifted to Congress party, which has led to the sudden rise. So, Congress was roughly 28% in the 2019 election and mm -hmm. Congress only once got 35% and that to... I guess long back in 2009 elections. Right, right. So it's been a long time that Congress had not got such a high vote share and they are mm. going to cross as per the, I feel as per the like most of the surveys, they are going to go to like 35% vote share. So it's not loss, it's not a loss for BJP, but maybe it's a massive gain for Congress. Where is the Congress gaining very quickly? So Congress is gaining across the entire state, maybe first of all the Jard Belt because of the decline of the JJP mm. and INLD parties. So, last time, uh, BJP was able to win a lot many seats in that belt because of the split of votes, the yes. JAT vote between Congress and JJP. So, Rotak and you Rotak, know, Sonipa, Karnal, Sirsa, Hesa, this is the like central Haryana belt which we can say that Congress is likely to gain <coughs> most along with a few seats in the northern part. Maybe uh, you can say the Ambala region, Ambala Lok Sabha which borders Punjab has a lot of six and SC uh, population, not, not many JATs but six. So, so that's an interesting point you're making. Perhaps the Congress regaining some of its lost political ground. You know, what have traditionally been Congress strongholds, but the BJP had managed to consolidate their base there. Uh, Charu Pragya, uh, while of course, uh, you know, there are a lot of health warnings and we will continue to reiterate those. Uh, the, the pollsters have gotten it wrong. More wrong than right, I would say. But still, you know, looking at the larger trend here, um, certainly in Haryana, uh, no, no, not even a single pollster has given you more than 40 seats. Do you think that would be a matter of concern going forward? Uh, even though we know that uh, you know the pollsters have a tendency of getting Haryana wrong, but still, not even a single pollster giving, giving you more than 38 seats. So, good evening and namaste. Let me yes. reply to that with some numbers. Before 2014, BJP's vote share in Haryana was approximately 10%. In the elections in 2014, it rose to 33%. It continued to rise in 2019 to 36% odd. And in the last general elections, 2024 Lok Sabha elections, BJP's vote share was well above 45%. So if you look at that trend, and add to that some Lok Sabha result comparison between 2019 and 2024. And I will tell you that. Hmm. In the oh. chart belt in Haryana, in 2019, BJP had 12 seats in 2019. And in the same area, in 2024, BJP actually got 15 seats. If you look at these kind of numbers, one thing is very clear. That BJP is uh, gaining ground in Haryana. Our vote share continues to go up. We have given a stable and good government to the people of Haryana. And lastly and most importantly, when we look at the numbers the exit polls give us, and I'm going to use the example of the last five state elections, they tend to get it wrong very often. Today, we are in a position where um, I can confidently say this. Now, there are two factors which are being discussed. One is uh, that Jan are unhappy but time and time again election results have shown that this seems to be a political conversation of opposition parties they okay. said it okay. after the farmers agitation for Uttar Pradesh but the results showed otherwise they said it for Haryana but 2024 uh, Lok Sabha election results showed otherwise in the Jat dominated areas and the second conversation is that um, uh, apart from uh, this the the leadership that BJP has put forward has been very disciplined, very devoted, unlike okay. the Congress camp, which is still washing its dirty linen in public. So, so it's interesting, isn't it, uh, Sandeep Ji, that you know you have a you have the BJP sort of doubting the credibility of the exit polls. Generally, we have seen that the BJP more you know more often than not uh, sort of believes what the exit polls have been saying. But these are also the first assembly elections after the surprise Lok Sabha mandate. Uh, to be fair to Charu, I think uh, Charu has been very reasonable yes. in her comments. And uh -huh. uh, uh, yes, a lot. That, that's why I keep saying if and but. Mm. So and yes, there could be questions yeah. about yeah. Uh, how the exit poll is emerged. Yes. Does it show a trend? 
Does it show a pattern? That's the question. I'm not looking at the actual numbers. Perhaps but I'm showing, I'm showing a trend that it yes. is showing. And uh, <laughs> Charu Pragyaji is very, very uh, right in saying <laughs> that from her party perspective, this doesn't seem to be the trend which they see on the ground. And of course, <laughs> it will decide what actually is the yes. uh, result going to be. Let me, let me in fact bring in Vivek <laughs> Chaudhary of the JJP. Chaudhary Saab, um, तीन चार में से तीन पोलस्टर्स ने ये कहा है कि आप हरियाणा में अपना खाता ही नहीं खोल रहे हैं आप कैसे देखते हैं इसको नहीं आज तो मैं धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगा जो भी पोलस्टर्स हैं और जो भी आज सर्वे जा रहे हैं जो एग्जिट पोल आ रहे हैं लास्ट टाइम के अगर हम रिजल्ट की बात करें एग्जिट पोल की बात करें तो उस टाइम पे हमें जीरो ही दिखाया गया था पर जो नतीजे आए थे जो लोगों ने हमें मैंडेट देने का काम किया वो उससे कई अलग थे और यही काम अब की बार होने हरियाणा प्रदेश के अंदर जा रहा है हरियाणा प्रदेश में आप देखिएगा दो युवा एक साथ मिलकर हरियाणा प्रदेश में युवा सरकार बनाने जा रहे हैं लास्ट टाइम पे हमें ये कहा गया कुछ नहीं होगा जीरो सीट्स है और उस टाइम पे हमारी नई रवेली पार्टी थी मात्र नौ महीने पुरानी उस टाइम इस बार आपकी स्थिति इस इस परस्पेक्टिव से भी अलग है कि इस बार आप अलायंस में नहीं लड़ रहे बीजेपी इज गोइंग इट अलोन एंड सो आर यू तो उस उस नजरिए से भी आपकी स्थिति इस बार हरियाणा में अलग है तो दो हजार उन्नीस से कंपेयर नहीं, नहीं कर सकते दिस आज कौन कहता है कि हम अलायंस में नहीं है हम अलायंस में है ए एस पी और जेजेपी का अलायंस है आजाद समाज पार्टी और हाँ. जेजेपी का अलायंस है आज दो यंग लीडर्स दो यूथ आइकन एक साथ है और बहुत मजबूती से चुनाव लड़ने का काम उन दोनों ने किया आज हरियाणा प्रदेश के अंदर दलित का और कमेरे का किसान का और कमेरे का जो कम्बिनेशन है वो आपको देखने को मिलेगा और आने वाले समय में आप देखिएगा जब आठ तारीख को रिजल्ट आएगा तो नतीजा कुछ और ही होगा पिछली बार जब हमें जीरो दिखाया गया था तो कुछ चैनल्स ने दो से तीन पे भी दिखाया तो मैं तो ये कहता हूँ जो पिछली बार जीरो दिखाया था हम दस पे आए आज अगर दो से तीन दिखा रहे हैं तो डबल और ट्रिपल होने जा रहे हैं तो आपकी आपकी रेंज एकदम ही अलग है बट लेट मी लेट मी ब्रिंग इन अनमोल पवार ऑफ द आम आदमी पार्टी एज वेल अनमोल Uh, it's very uh, sort of uh, confident of you to at least uh, you know come and defend your party here because while the pollsters still give two to three seats to the INLD and the JJP, not a single pollster is giving giving you even a single seat except Dainik Bhaskar, which says zero to one. So you know, do you think that the Amadi Party's campaign in Haryana? I mean, you couldn't sustain uh, what was. a good start you did well in the panchayat polls uh, but of course there was a complete rout in the lok sabha polls and uh, you know what if if these exit poll, polls were to be believed you're not opening your account uh, at all in haryana vidant while the exit polls offer a valuable glimpse into the voter behavior but they are not infallible on 8th yes. when the election results uh, will be announced the key to haryana government will be in arvind kejriwal ji's hands and why am i saying this because frustrated by years of corruption deceit and unmet expectations people have gravitated towards no but let me go back to the point party. you are making how on what basis do you say that the key to government formation will be in arvind kejriwal's hand you're not even getting a single that seat is, according to these exit polls they can go wrong to an extent but there no, not a single pollster is given <coughs> even a single seat we have seen that, the, that in the past also exit polls have gone wrong and why am i saying this because this 10 years of misgovernance corruption and deceit and unmet expectations of people of haryana they have gravitated towards the aam aadmi party towards an honest and effective governance which focus on well being of the citizen the arvind kejriwal model of governance is what has resonated with the people of haryana Okay. and uh, had he not been put behind bars then we would have been in a position to form a government on our own akshat would like to come in on this because uh, both the jjp and the aam aadmi party seem very confident that you know they they could be potential <coughs> king makers in haryana but you know they've been cut to size completely instead of seat share again i am saying that seat share may be they're not the right metric to show the performance of any any party you should look at the vote shares and we are not seeing it here But let's say I have my own <coughs> own numbers about Aam Aadmi Party. I know so they are definitely gaining from the last time. Yes. Maybe a percent or two. So I agree with them that yeah they. So I am not sure how many seats they will get. As per our survey, they might not get 
like many seats, but definitely they are gaining in terms of vote share. So we should also look at party is growing or not in terms of vote share. So the so the popularity of party can be measured in terms of vote share. Mm. Sandeep, just a quick word on that. Expect them on an exit poll day to, to say that uh, they agree with these numbers because that would be a very strong uh, uh, <coughs> departure from the party line. So I think we need to look at that perspective also sure. and wait for the earth to see what actually happens. Mm. Yes, Anmol Pavar, you have a point. Go ahead. Elections were raised in 2013 when we fought the Delhi elections for the first time uh, we, uh, and even when we fought Punjab elections. But the fact is that we do not come in the survey, we come to the government. Okay, okay. So interesting there. Uh, you know, a jumla as it were. Survey we do not come in the government. But Charu Pragya, let's also look at Jammu and Kashmir a bit, uh, shall we? Because uh, interesting numbers there as well. If you look at the uh, poll of polls, um, the average to the BJP is 27. Uh, for uh, the Congress plus NC, it's 42. So, you know, again, a sort of a decisive uh, lead there as far as the Congress plus NC is concerned. The maximum number of seats that the uh, pollsters <coughs> are giving to the BJP is 30 and the maximum number of seats for the Congress plus NC is 48. But I think the larger point here also is, do you still expect Charu Pragya for the BJP to emerge as the single largest party uh, in Jammu and Kashmir? Vedanta, I'm confident that uh, BJP is going to be forming the government in Jammu and Kashmir. And this is a victory of not just the people okay, of Jammu and Kashmir, but uh, the people of uh, India from whichever state they belong to. See, this is the first election after abrogation of Article 370. And it is an election with an increased number of people going out to vote, even in uh, isolated areas, geograph geographically difficult areas. That speaks for a lot. And if you visit Kashmir, Kashmir today, there is a complete change in environment in the way the valley has been functioning, whether it is the return of entertainment, whether it is increased employment opportunities, a record number of footfall of tourists to Kashmir, or uh, even simply the way the tricolor is celebrated in every nook and corner. So these speak a lot, and uh, that is the real victory of the Bharti Janta Party. The numbers will definitely reflect it two days later. Uh, that being said, when uh, we compare Jammu and Kashmir 10 years before to today, I think one main difference is that our younger generation is not being spoiled by people giving them stones in their hands. We are very... That has, has, been, has been a big change. No boycott calls and we've yeah. seen long queues at polling booths. Uh, that was really heartening to see. But Sandeep Ji, quickly, one thing that uh, seems to be clear from the trends uh, in the exit polls that the election was fought differently in Jammu and in the valley. Uh, yeah, see, that's always yeah. been the case. Hmm. The, the pattern in the valley and the pattern in the Jammu region has been very different. Hmm. Uh, one point, Vedant, we should keep in mind in Jammu and Kashmir is... Who emerges as the single largest party will be very critical. Yes. Because um, while you talk of an NCP <laughs> Congress alliance, let's also remember there were friendly fights between both yes. in Jammu and Kashmir. So do you really consider it a pre-poll mm. alliance? Yes. On the other channel, the former uh, deputy chief minister who hailed from the BJP made the point that we will do very well in Jammu and in Kashmir, we can always open the door of communication with mm. those who have won there to be able yes, to form I think, the I think that's a very important point you're making. And Akshat, would you agree uh, on that? Because we're also looking at record number of independents as far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned this time around. So I agree with Sir. Huh. Uh, but uh, as per like uh, most of the posters, they are, they are pointing out that NCP and Congress Alliance is likely to be the single largest group. Yes. And, and uh, I guess uh, out of the... 90 seats, 58 seats are being contested by the uh, National Congress. Mm. So it is not fair to say or it might not be like fair to say that only BJP might be the single largest party. Mm. As Sarva was saying, we have to look at who but might would, be. Do you see the Congress NC also gaining in Jammu? So, and, and the BJP so see, in the valley? What, what happened like in the 2024 Lok Sabha election of the 36 assembly seats of Jammu and Udhampur, BJP won 29 seats. Yes. So I am not I am expecting BJP to almost maintain a similar uh, like seat share, plus minus one or two seats. Maybe. In Jammu. In Jammu. Mm. 
Mm. So in that similar range, but I am not very sure about the BJP's prospect in the Kashmir region, mm. where they might not be doing very well, but yeah, they might gain in terms of vote share, mm. but they might not mm. be able to win seats. So upper bound, as per our understanding and as per most of the polls, it is let's say around to be 30 seats for yes. BJP. And for the PDP also, I mean, many have said that this is the end of political road uh, for PDP. Uh, but of course, many pollsters have given 7 to 11 seats, which also seems uh, good enough for the PDP there. So a lot to unpack as far as these numbers are concerned. But again, um, I, as I've been reiterating, a lot of health warnings. These are just exit polls. And more often than not, they have gotten it wrong. Uh, we will, of course, see what the final mandate is on the 8th. Uh, but uh, it gives us enough uh, talking points, certainly as far as you know the elections are concerned as we build up to the big counting day we have to slip into a short break now uh, but lots more coming up on the other side